Hey YouTube, it's Emma Gardner again, and sorry it's so late. We've uh, had quite a busy week and exams are coming up, so we haven't really had a chance to put out a video, but today we have that video. And oh my word, everything is growing so much, you're gonna just, you're gonna fall in love with it as much as we have. So we're gonna take you on a little trip around all the beds and uh, we'll show you what's growing on. All right YouTube, this is our patio garden. Luke's mom allowed us to have pots on her patio. Sorry about the noisy fountain in the back. I'm sure you can hear me. Here is our pepper plant. This is a bell pepper plant. And we have some big peppers growing over here. Ta-da! First fruits of the season. They're not turning colors yet. They're still green and they've got quite a bit to go. But I can't wait to have one of those nice sweet peppers. This also, these ha this has some flowers. This is also a bell pepper plant. We have little buds there. And there's a big one in here. I think it's this one. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, I know there's one in here somewhere. I can't find it though. There are plenty of flowers. As you can see, there's buds and flowers everywhere. So We've decided to keep these peppers in a pot. Just because we like the whole idea of having things in a pot and we are we don't have that much room for more peppers in the garden in the back, so this is another bell pepper. They're huge, they're expansive, and they're growing even bigger every day. So those are all the peppers. Three plants three pots of plants. This right here is a little pepper. I think this is the this is the Jamaican habanero right here. And I think this might be, this is a Thai pepper, I think. I don't quite know, but I shouldn't be touching the leaves. I don't want capsaicin oil on me. Right here is a black cherry tomato. Luke and I wanted to have some variety in our garden, so we decided to have some different types of tomatoes, peppers, stuff like that. So we want black cherry. I don't necessarily like tomatoes, so I don't know if I'll ever try them, but we'll see. Here's a white cherry, so we have the black and the white. This one doesn't have buds on it yet, but it will soon. This one has some flowers here. As you can see, they're going to grow some cute little cherry tomatoes. Right here we have a Ruger's, Root Gers tomato. It's doing nice. It's big and strong. we got some buds up here in the top. Now this, I, I don't necessarily know what this is, but by the picture, it looks odd. It's a Mr. Stripey. It is a yellow and red striped tomato. I've never seen anything like that kind of reminds me of a circus tent, so we'll see. This one right here is a yellow pear. This is just a yellow tomato, similar to the Golden Sunrise. It's got a little bit more of a pear shape to it, and we've got little tomatoes right down there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a shadow, but there's a couple tomatoes. Here's a Sweet 100 tomato. It's very big. It's doing nice. We set these up here so when it does grow, we're going to tie strings around these three posts so it can be kind of caged in. Kind of a homemade tomato cage, if, you, if you'd say that. Um, as of now, there are no tomatoes on here, but there are buds right here. This is a white eggplant. We transplanted these from the pots that were on the, the grill over there. Uh, well, the the thing that holds the grill up. I'll show you that in a moment. And we transplanted these in the pots and they're growing great. Here is the Rosa Bienza eggplant. The only eggplant that we had. The only Rosa Bienza eggplant. We had the defective seed packet that gave us one seed. So it's doing well. Here's a zucchini. We transplanted these again from the pots that were sitting on the cement grill thing over there. They're getting bigger and Hopefully we'll be having some buds soon. Here's another zucchini. So that's our patio garden. Quite a few pots, and we're glad we have them. This is the patio, the not patio, the grill thing I was talking about. This is just some straw flowers. There's a geranium there. There are radishes in here. They were more of a test, these radishes, but just to see if we could get them to germinate. So, but we're still going to pick them. They're not going to grow big. They're in a pot, but that's okay. Here's um, some onions here. Red onions. 
And one last thing over here. This was also a test, but we decided just to see if the bok choy would sprout and germinate in the climate we have, and it's doing great. I don't exactly know what it's supposed to look like, but it looks good to me, so we'll eat it when the time comes. On June 16th, the last day of our school, we will be giving the teachers all of their plants. So the big things there are the pumpkins, we've got some tomatoes over there, pumpkins again, tomatoes, tomatoes, there's some cucumbers, lots of tomatoes, all the teachers wanted tomatoes. We did have to replant some bell peppers because they didn't sprout and we've been having trouble with the germination of the bell pepper seeds. I don't exactly know what's going on, it might not have, it had got cold for a little while so. But we replanted some and we planted some cucumber here and we're hoping they'll grow. So now, I'm finished with the front here, the patio. Here's our radish, lettuce, and pea garden. The radishes are huge. Luke and I picked some today. Now, of course, we know that we're not going to have huge, like radishes that are in the store. They're just going to be little guys, but it's because we're growing all organic. It's going to be great, but you can see there's a little bulb forming there. We're not going to pick these yet. Um, see, that one's a little nice big bulb forming down there. We're not going to pick these yet because once the tops get up to the soil, they'll grow a little bit bigger, so we'll hopefully we'll have some nice good size radishes in the next coming weeks. Back there we have our peas. They are growing great. Growing up their little trellis that we made for them. Here are the lettuce. These are black seeded Simpson lettuce. And as you can see they're growing nice little lettuce heads here. They're kind of wrapping around themselves. They do need to be thinned out but we figure we'll just let them grow and when the time comes to pick in, we'll eat a bunch in a nice big old salad. <clears throat> and our one last thing, this is Luke's invention. Still the strawberry plants. We went up to his cottage and we found a bunch of wild strawberries and Luke thought it would be a great idea to grow them inside of a five gallon bucket. What he did is he cut holes. Alright, I'm sorry about that, I accidentally pressed the power button. Anyway, <laughs> he drilled holes into the side of this bucket here and up plants in them and they're growing all the way around the bucket and they're growing they're okay they're still kind of in the transplant shock phase they should get better I mean we do have some flowers growing here and we have flowers on this side here growing upwards towards the Sun so it's working it's just taking a little while oh, but the peppers over there too. I was getting to those over here we have some more peppers Luke reminded me thank you Here's some more peppers right here. These are bell. They're a little small. Um, that's, they're just in a pot. And they look a little droopy. But they're coming around. We it, it had gotten... Michigan's weird. It had gotten cold. It got down to the 40s and at night. And now it's up to the 70s and 80s. And this week it's going to be in the 90s. So it's, Michigan's a very weird place. Luke is going to take you to the back. And he's going to show you what's been going on back there because there's quite a bit. All right, YouTube. So uh, the battery is kind of dying again. So if it dies, uh, I'll just charge it and we'll be back here. But anyways, this is the backyard garden. It looks so good. Uh, here we have some peppers. And here we have the Thai peppers, really growing great. Uh, the cherry tomatoes, uh, some pink brandywine tomatoes cherry red tomatoes some more cherry red tomatoes beef steak some black beauty eggplants golden sunrise tomatoes and they're just small but they're coming along some more beef steak a55 tomatoes and a McDonald's delight yeah I know this thing's getting huge so, for everyone who was pessimistic or weirded out by that, um, sorry, I proved you wrong. <laughs> but uh, here's our broccoli, and yes, if I can get a shot in there, which I can't, but yes, I can. That's broccoli in there. We got a head of broccoli forming. Got lots of heads of broccoli forming, actually. So, everything is growing really well. 
Uh, the sunlight's kind of weird because it's going through the trees, so there's spots where it's brighter than others. Bear with me here. <laughs> but, anyways, here is the onions. Everything's growing really great. The onions are huge. And uh, check out the stalks on these. I mean, there's my thumb for a reference. It's almost as big as my thumb. Here's the multicolored Swiss chard, yellow, red, pink over there, and white or green, whichever one you pick. I don't know. Some people call it white Swiss chard. Some people call it green Swiss chard. Uh, here's the spinach. Really great size leaves. Um, for all organic, too, we're not using any pesticides, nothing. It's just really growing great. Here is the radishes, as you can see, coming along really great. Super proud of these things. We put these things in before the ones up by the garage, and uh, they're doing great. But, yep, so those are the regular radishes. Here is the cucumbers. We're going to plant some more cucumbers as well. Um, and they're hopefully going to start climbing up this trellis. And also, here is some more Swiss chard, or not Swiss chard, some more uh, uh, spinach. Even bigger leaves than the other ones I just showed, and these are ready to pick, so we are going to have some spinach salad tonight. Really excited for that. Here's the, uh, the, oh, what is this? This is the watermelon radishes, and these are coming along really great. They take a little bit uh, longer to get, form a bulb than the other ones do, so they're not even close yet. This bed we just put in a couple days ago, this is going to be all beans. Except for this, this is uh, some daikon radishes, the big white ones. Over here, we have our celery, coming along really great. These are just like big leaves. And uh, over here, some more daikon radishes coming up. Then there's beets planted right here. Um, some, some carrots, some uh, Japanese giant imperator carrots that Ray sent us. Then there's some more imperator carrots right there. And then there's some multicolored carrots, some ferrous carrots, <laughs> that rhymed. Um, but yeah, they're called ferrous carrots. And then some Danver half long. And then there's also a voluntary pumpkin. Sorry, you can't be there. Um, and then over here is the potatoes. You got the, uh, what is this? What kind is this? This is the Kennebec white. Then the Pontiac red skin. Then there's a uh, Idaho red skin, and then some more Kennebec. So they are coming along really great. Haven't had many problems with bugs. We had a little blight problem in the beginning, but hey, I mean, t I took it right out right in the beginning, and they are just stronger than ever. And of course, I use my weekly dressing of uh, rabbit manure and compost tea uh, three times a week, and I use rabbit manure once a week. So they are everything's really loving that. So uh, I'm gonna flash over to the other to the back back garden and I'll be right with you all right so here we are at the uh, back back garden and everything's coming up really great along this pathway and thank you Bree uh, here is the Tom Thumb lettuce it's forming a really pretty head on it I love the way this lettuce looks it's the most gorgeous lettuce ever here's the bok choy all coming up really great along here. Here is the black seeded Simpson. Just thick along here, so we're going to have lots of that growing. Here is the uh, blue, blue curled Scotch kale. Sorry about that. And it's coming up a little late. We uh, All of the Scotch that we put out here died. Or blue curled Scotch kale. Gosh, sorry about that. And here is the kale. Just regular kale. Again, smaller, but it's coming along. Here's the iceberg lettuce, doing great. And then here is the uh, zucchini that we put out here. Either yellow or green, uh, the yellow crookneck or the uh, early green beauty. So we got, we got lots of that the zucchini. So that is the end of week, I believe 17 update. And we will be eager to post some more videos, some planting videos. And uh, till next time, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.